SoulStartups.com is an English-speaking community for workers in Korea. Designers, developers, and entrepreneurs share and discuss ideas, work, culture, startups, language, and integration to the market and life in the ROK. Networking in Korea when you don't speak the local language fluently can be hard. Soul Startups wants to bring the currently fragmented community into one place where people can ask for help and advice and learn and make connections that will help them succeed in their career in Korea. Join today at soulstartups.com. I'm Chan Storlin with your Korean news update brought to you by Korea FM in association with the Korea Observer and Asian Pop Radio. For more independent news and talk radio podcasts, subscribe in the iTunes store with your favorite podcast application or visit koreafm.net. Impeached ex-president Park Geun-hye has been arrested becoming the first leader since South Korea's transition to democracy to be sent to jail. The New York Times reports a Seoul Central District Court judge issued the warrant for Pak's arrest, warning that if she were not quickly taken into custody, the former president might destroy evidence. Charges include bribery, extortion, and abuse of power, but while a majority of South Koreans think Pak's removal from the presidency was merited, the impeached president's fall from grace has been hard to accept for many older, conservative South Koreans. A semi-submersible ship carrying the salvaged Sewol ferry has arrived in the southwestern port of Mokpo. Yonhap reports after more than a week of preparations, including disinfecting the rusted hull, an inspection of the vessel is expected to begin on April 10th that will attempt to locate remains of nine victims still missing since more than 300 people died, mostly high school students on a school trip, when the Sewol ferry sank in April of 2014. Authorities also plan to investigate the ship for signs of what caused that deadly sinking. The Seoul Metropolitan Government has recorded the highest ever concentration of fine dust particles in the capital's air. The Korea Jungon Daily reports the average concentration of fine dust particles over the past three months was 33 micrograms per cubic meter of air. That's six micrograms more than this time last year. While many South Korean government experts continue to blame China for Seoul's increasing air pollution problems, several studies have shown that half or more of the city's air pollution comes from South Korea itself. And as the country continues to expand its reliance on coal power plants, the quality of air in Seoul is likely to become even worse. And the monthly wage gap between South Korean workers for major conglomerates, small and mid-sized companies, and regular and non-regular workers has reached a new record high. The Chosun Ilbo reports the most recent data for the wage gap between conglomerate and small and medium business workers shows a difference of more than 3.3 million won or nearly 3,000 US dollars. The pay gap between regular and non-regular workers has also increased to more than 4.1 million won, or nearly 3,700 U.S. dollars a month. Subscribe to the Korea FM Talk Radio and News Podcast in iTunes or your favorite podcasting application. And for more news, talk radio, and independent music from the Korean Peninsula, visit koreafm.net. I'm Chance Storland.